Okay, hello Aries. How are you doing? I hope everything's fine. This is Momo's um, reading. I'm doing an oracle reading on you guys. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. I'm going to go more in depth in this oracle reading. So you're going to get more advice, okay? Then just on the oracle card. It's going to go more in depth. So stay tuned. Hang in there. Don't change the channel. New viewers, subscribe. I'd like to have you as a subscriber. Thank you for stopping by. So let's get into it. Okay, Aries energy. Show me Aries energy. What advice do you have for Aries energy, please? Okay. So we have time to move on. It's time to move on, Aries. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come into you. Music for manifest, manifesting. Music for manifesting. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. Mother healing. As your feelings toward your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. Okay, so there's mother healing needed. Synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So pay attention to those events. Synchronicity. Those synchronistic events, okay? Pay attention to those because you need to know how to fix it, how to increase things to flow. Worthiness. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. Okay, you are worthy of all things. Know that. Believe it. The only way you can manifest what you want in your life. Set your sights higher. Okay? Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. Again, you are worthy. Know your worth. Okay? Let's get into this. We're going to clarify these cards. We're going to go deeper. Okay? Um, time to move on. Clarify time to move on in Aries energy, please. What is it time to move on from? Clarify time to move on. Clarify time to move on in Aries energies, please. Ten of materials. Okay. It's time to move on to stability. More. There's balance here. Um, success is here. Okay. Once you let go of something, you're going to move forward in a success. Stability wise, you're gonna have more stability, more money, everything. Your foundation that you want, you could want a family foundation. You have to let go of something, and you will get that. You could get offers of stability coming into you, windfalls of money, promotions on a job. I mean, you just get more successful once you move out of a situation, once you let something go. There's something you need to move on from to get this. Ten of Pentacles, this Ten of Materials, okay? You're very much loved. You have support, okay? You have a family that loves you and that will support you stability-wise once you move on from a situation, okay? You're very blessed. You're not going to be struggling, okay? You're not going to be in any type of struggle. The devil is here. You're in a toxic situation you need to release, Okay? You also may need to heal yourself of some addictions, okay, for some of you guys. But you're in a toxic situation with someone that may be very over-possessive. Um, they could be abusive, you know, could be domestic, anything. Um, the high priest, there's a lot of secrets here. And another thing is telling you, move in silence. Don't tell nobody what you're going to do, how you're going to move, where you're going to go. This person may be dangerous because it's telling you to move in silence, Okay. Whoever you're dealing with, all right? Keep it to yourself. Move in silence. Um, Muse of Voices. King of Voices is here. Okay, but at the same time, be honest, be truthful. 
Um, stand your ground. You need to fight for yourself. Stand up for yourself in this situation as well. But do it accordingly. Do it in a way that it's not irate, you know? Um, you could say things to people that don't come out irate, you know? Be careful how you say whatever you need to say to this person when you get out of the situation. But you may need to move out of the situation first and then talk to the person, be honest. Because it could be a toxic, dangerous situation you're in. Okay, that's for somebody. Um, music, clarify music for manifesting. Clarify music for manifesting. Three emotions, okay? So there's something that you're wanting to manifest, okay? To manifest this rapidly, think of your desire while you can't hum, sing, or play music. So play loving music, whatever you want to manifest. Play loving, soothing music. Chant what you want. Say what you want. Say it's yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. You know, believe it. Believe you can have it, all right? With somebody you want to reunite with. There's somebody you're wanting to reconcile with, reunite with. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer energy. Okay? So those are the things you need to do in order to reunite with this person. Um, page of Inspiration is here. Okay? Um, communicate. Learn how to communicate with this person. Page of Inspiration, Page of Wands. Um, create new ideas on how to have a new beginning with this person before you go in to reunite with this person, all right? And learn how to communicate with this person because maybe that's what messed up things in the past because there was no good communication between you and this person. Um, the Ace of Inspirations is here. Yeah, if you want a passionate new beginning with this person, you're going to have to learn to communicate with this person, okay? It can't be any immature communication, right? Okay, mother healing is here. Mother healing. Clarify mother healing in Aries energy, please. Clarify mother healing in Aries energies, please. And we have the nine of voices here. Okay. Nine of, nine of swords is here. Something could be, you know, there's a loss here. There's some type of loss. An ending. Hurt and pain. Something could have thrown you off balance. A separation, a loss. It could have threw, thrown you off balance, but you will be moving to better waters. Or somebody is separating. Somebody may be separating. Two of materials is here. And you could be juggling and having to juggle with a decision on what to do in this situation. Mm. So there may be a decision you have to juggle with or you may have to juggle stability somebody could have lost somebody
Somebody's separating. Somebody's going through a separation. There's a separation here. And there's a lot of hurt and pain involved. It's a struggle mentally, physically. It may have you up at night worrying what to do. In this situation, you may not be able to sleep. And maybe you did it due to a mother figure. Maybe you... you, you just... What's up, Drew? Because this is some mother healing needed. Um, maybe this is why you separated from this person. Because it's mother healing here. And something has you not been able to sleep at night. Maybe you're at the distance from your mom. Maybe you're worried about your mother. Maybe it's taking this toll on you because you're at a distance from your mother or something of that nature. And maybe you want to be around your mother to heal things with your mother. Um, you feel like you may need to be near your mother so you could move to better waters with your mother. Um, you're juggling maybe all kind of ideas on what to do, how to get closer to a, to a mother to be able to heal things with your mom. The distance may be tearing you up, taking its toll on you. Maybe it's causing you to be depressed. Mm, that's what I'm seeing. Um, moving on. Synchronicity here. Yeah, or you're, you're being told that's what's taking this toll on you. You're, maybe you're needing to heal things with your mother. That's what's having you up at night. Because you need to heal things with your mother. The separation from your mom. So maybe you need to be closer to your mother. Okay? And this is a decision you're juggling with. And maybe you're having, you're needing to move to better waters from someone in order to get this closeness with your mother to get back in the vicinity where your mother is. You're going to have to leave a situation and move, move on from a situation. Um, Synchronicity is here. Clarify synchronicities. Clarify synchronicities and Aries energy. Your prayers and questions are being answered. But whatever you pray for is being answered. Seven of emotions is here. Seven of Cups. So you're needing to sit on something. Um, page of material, a new beginning of growth is here. Um, illusions. Oh, Lord. Maybe you're feeling like you were fed illusions. You were lied to concerning a new beginning of growth that you wanted with someone. Um, Somebody made you think that you were going to have this great new beginning of growth and it didn't happen for you. But prayers didn't work for you. You know, you're going to be okay in this situation. A higher power is on your side. Five of inspirations is here. Five of wands is here. There's a lot of confusion. Maybe this person started a lot of arguments. It became domestic. There was a lot of fighting between this person. When they fed you illusions, like they wanted a great new beginning, but they didn't do nothing but argue, fight, confuse you. Or maybe you're confused on what happened. You no, know, what happened? You know, you're feeling like you were lied to. Maybe you feel like you was going to have a family with this person as well. You know, something of that nature. Um, clarify synchronicity and Aries energy. Clarify synchronicity. Empress. Maybe this is somebody you were in love with this person. Libra energy here. Okay. Um, you put this person on a pedestal maybe. You, were, you know, you put them first. And they still wanted to argue. They still caused a lot of confusion and a lot of drama. I mean, maybe they pretended to be somebody that they weren't. And that's why you fell in love with them. Because they hid the two, them, their true selves from you. And now you're confused. Like, what in the world did I get myself into? Okay. 
But prayers on your side, your prayers are whatever you pray for in this situation. If you pray for help to get out of this situation, your prayers are being answered. You will get out of this situation, okay? Um, moving on, worthiness is here. Clarify worthiness and Aries energy, please. Okay, we have a queen of materials. Okay, know your worth. Okay, this is all it's telling you. Know your worth. Realize your worth. You're stable. You're secure. You're beautiful. Fine. People see you as beautiful. People see you as fine. People love the way you dress. You dress very nice. You smell good. You know, know your worth. Okay, other people see it, but you don't see it. Realize it. Okay. The emperor, you're the emperor. Aries energy. This is you. You're successful. Um, you're a leader. You know, strong. You know what you want. You speak what you want, and you get it. You're a manifester. So act like it. Walk like it. Talk like it. Okay. A situation may have took place and have you feeling like you're not an emperor anymore, but you are an emperor. You're on top. You're successful. Walk like such. Talk like such. The Knight of Voices is here. The Knight of Swords. Gemini energy. An upheaval took this away from you. You went through some type of upheaval. It came and it hit you. You weren't prepared for it. And now you're feeling like, you know, lesser than who you are, who you truly are. But you are the emperor okay get off your feet hold your head up and walk like one talk like one ten of emotions is here ten of cups is here yes walk back into your own your happiness own your happiness it's here your foundation is here own it okay yeah upheaval took place in your happiness but you gotta walk back in your power get back in your power um aries okay um it could have happened with the Taurus. You could have had some type of stability with the Taurus, and they just messed you all up. Okay? Tore you down, you know, or something of that nature. Maybe they the way they spoke to you, they, they put you down a lot or something. Because a lot of voices, that's not a very nice part. They could have been very possessive, um, overbearing, and just tore you down. But you got to walk back in that power. You got to own your power. Who you are. You are the emperor. Okay. You are the emperor. Nobody does that to you. You are the emperor. Get back in your power. Okay. You are worthy of all things. Don't let nobody tell you you are not Aries. Because you are. You are the emperor. Um, Moving on. Set your sights higher. Clarify set your sights higher. And Aries energy. The moon card. Somebody's very deceptive around you. Okay. Use your intuition. Okay. To see what you need to see. That's going on around you. To see what is best for you in your life. Do not settle. Okay. Cancer energy is here. Something is very deceptive going on around you. There's somebody that's keeping some secrets. Okay. And allow your higher power to illuminate things to you you need to see. Listen to your intuition, okay? Um, night of materials, okay? Um, this is a Virgo energy. Um, there's an offer coming in. The offer could be very deceptive, okay? You may not need to trust this offer. Um, this person is coming in very slow. They're planning, strategizing how to offer some type of stability to you, and it's not much. So you need to know your worth. This offer could be deceptive. Use your intuition to know and to see what you need to see. Because it's, it's something not true about this offer that's coming in from a Virgo energy. It don't have to be a Virgo. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn energy, Earth sign energy. Um, The Fool card, this is somebody coming in to you want another chance, Aries. The Fool card is your energy. Don't let this person make a fool of you. They're coming in to get another chance, Okay. They could be going through they could be going through some type of um struggle. Look at the desert. They could be financially drained where they have no finances and they're coming back into you to get from you. Okay, so be careful. Okay, um 
The hermit. Isolate yourself from this person. Um, take your time when they come in in the offer. Do not jump into this offer. Use some spiritual guidance. Get an answer from the divine. You have a lot of wisdom. Use it. Okay. Use your wisdom. Use your spiritual guidance on what to do in this situation, whether or not this person has changed, whether or not this person is deceptive. Use it. Awakening here. Okay. Because you could have went through a big transformation where you were in the dark or this person had you in the dark and you made a big change about yourself. You, you went inside, worked on yourself and it's like you're seeing the light now. You're more positive and growing to be more spiritual maybe. Some of you, and you don't need this person putting you back in the dark. You don't need this. Okay, this person may be more dark. This could be this person more dark. They need to go through awakening. They need to go through a change for the better. But they have not. They come, they're coming back to the story again to take. Okay? So be careful. Right? Don't let this person tear you down no more than what they already have. That's for somebody. Don't let them come back and they have not changed. Okay? Mm. And they could be trying to come in and confuse you because you're in love with this person. Be yourself having a family with this person. Um, all right, Aries, this is what I have for you. Um, I'm out. I hope I can help somebody. Good luck. Keep your head up. All right, know your worth. Okay, realize your worth. You are the emperor. Remember that. Love you guys. I'm out. Subscribe.